Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with a new video. Do you remember way back when? I'm going to pose this as like a trivia question at first, and you can leave your responses in the comments down below. Way back when with Racing Rivals, there was a time when an entire country was banned from accessing the game. If you'd like to guess what country it was, uh, you can leave your responses down below. And honestly, at the time, it did kind of seem like a good idea because of what was going on in the game. This region or country uh, was where majority of farming and game exploitation was basically coming from. So, if you haven't made your guesses in the comments yet, uh, I believe it was Indonesia was the country that was completely banned from accessing racing rivals for an entire version of the game because there was a lot of exploitation, a lot of uh, currency farming, and a lot of game glitching going on in that region. Now, let's get into today. What's going on with Helldivers 2 and Sony? Uh, it's, it's not good. So if you look at this, this list is the list of, uh, purchased restricted countries. Now, why are purchases restricted? Let me pull it up. Here we go. I forgot to pull it up. So for PC players, Helldivers 2 on Steam and, you know, where else? Helldivers 2 account linking update. Okay, not a big deal. Attention, hell divers. Due to technical inch inches, I'm sorry, I can't talk today. Due to technical issues at the launch of Hell Divers 2, we allowed the linking requirement for Steam accounts to a PlayStation Network account to be temporarily optional. Uh oh. That grace period will now expire. See detail details below in this post i can't freaking it's 1130 cut me some slack please <laughs> account linking plays a critical role in protecting our players and upholding the values of safety and security provided on playstation and playstation studio games no it doesn't uh this is our main way to protect players from griefing and abuse by enabling the banning of players that engage in that type of behavior it also allows those players that have been banned the right to re appeal uh okay i can it depends on their system it sounds like their system is just shitty as such as of may 6th all new helldiver 2 players on steam will be required to connect their steam account to a playstation network account current players on steam will start to see the mandatory login from May 30th and will be required to have linked their Steam and PlayStation Network account by June 4th. PlayStation Network accounts are free and easy to set up with this link. We understand that while this may be an inconvenience to some of you, this step will help us continue to build a community that you are all proud to be a part of. They do not they did not realize this to some of you uh to some of you <laughs> to some of you um to like half the planet legitimately it's like half the planet So, if you can't figure out what's going on here, this list of countries are countries that can't create PlayStation Network accounts. People in these countries probably already bought the game because it was optional to make a PlayStation Network account. So, it was fine for them to play it in their region on PC. Well... Now they can't. And plus, let's talk about that little window here. 
Uh, required to link it by June 4th. Granted, yeah, majority of people are probably going to be playing. June 4th is still a month away uh, from today, at least. So, eh, okay. That's a month-ish. But, like, seriously, it's... This is insane. We thought it was insane when they blocked in one country. When this blocked one country, we thought it was insane. Why is it not doing anything? We thought it was insane when this blocked one country. You're telling me that Sony has blocked all of this. All these people in these countries. Unknown country code XD. Huh. I wonder what that country code is. It, I know XA for phones is sometimes American. Um, at least in Android firmware. I'm guessing it kind of works the same way. There's probably like some global setup or something. But uh, yeah. No. It, it, poor scientists in Antarctica that might be at the base down there can no longer play hell divers, I guess. Uh, <laughs> this is insanity. <laughs> like, I'm going to go through this list Belize, Congo, Cuba. Like, how many countries here? Egypt is huge. Fiji. There are so many countries that I recognize here. Georgia. Ghana. I mean, okay, some of these countries I'm surprised they would be able to play it in the first place. That sounds terrible. Iraq and Afghanistan was at the top. Jamaica. That's potentially racist. Um, Yeah, there's a lot of countries here that I recognize, and a lot of those countries I'm sure have people in there that play these games just fine. Maybe it is a small percentage, but like this is enough of an outcry that people are real mad about it. It's insanity. Like it, the game for 15 bucks if you're in that location. It's I, I okay. Yeah. So Sony messed up. They made the game that nobody can play now. And yeah, they just kicked out like a good chunk of the planet. They messed up. I bet you they'll revert this decision. Actually, no, they probably won't. Sony is kind of a make a decision and live with it kind of company. I don't know. Leave a comment down below. Do you think Sony will revert this decision? I kind of don't think they will. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Fun video, I guess. Peace out.